Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the ASUS ROG Strix G18 2023 gaming laptop from the perspective of a visual content creator. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit on loan from ASUS Singapore. So big thanks to them again for providing yet another review unit for me to check out. Let me give you the bottom line up front. This is a well-designed laptop with a massive 18-inch display. The resolution is 2560 by 1600, so this is 16 by 10. The colors look great out of the box. It's bright, it's vibrant, and I measure color support for 89% Adobe RGB, 96% DCI-P3. So this display is definitely good enough for visual content creation. This is an ebook that I'm currently working on and on this massive display with the resolution I am able to fit two columns of palette by the side and the user interface is still big enough for me to see comfortably. So I don't feel any urge to connect this laptop to an external display. The overall performance of this laptop can be summarized with this chart and this is the gaming performance. So with Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1920 by 1200 resolution, I was able to get 80 frames per second with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 graphics card in this laptop. With last year's uh, laptops that I've tested, I was only able to get 50 to 60 FPS with RTX 3060 and 40 FPS with RTX 3050 Ti. So this is at least 25% faster compared to these two laptops from ASUS that I have tested last year. And if you increase the resolution to 2560 by 1600, you can still get 65 to 70 FPS with RDR2. So that to me is quite impressive. Now the downsides and limitations would be, well, the battery life obviously is not going to be great with a gaming laptop. I was only able to get about four to five hours with non-gaming usage. And if you are gaming with the battery, it's just one hour. There's no biometric unlock and this keyboard layout will take some time to get used to. And now on to the full review. So these are the items included in the box. There is a 280 watt charger, which is quite big. And this uses a barrel connector. The laptop also supports USB-C charging. However, USB-C charging may not be able to keep up with intensive gaming. If you don't already have a bag to carry an 18-inch laptop, ASUS has you covered. This is a well-made and good-looking backpack with good padding here and also for the back and the front. And there are two side pockets that you can use to carry the power adapter and cables. Design of this laptop is stylish. The surface is matte textured and there is this low gloss logo there which can light up. This is the ASUS ROG design aesthetic and this is repeated inside. There is some design here as well. On the back here, this whole thing is for air intake and the cooling system for this laptop is really good. The weight of this laptop is 3 kg, which is kind of heavy, but that's to be expected from a laptop with an 18 inch display. So on the back, the design looks really nice as well. There are five rubber feet to raise the laptop off the table surface. I did not open the back, but you can open in this very easily if you want to replace RAM or add another NVMe SSD. There is one free SSD slot and the screws are the typical cross type screws. The audio from the downward facing speakers is good. It's loud and it's clear. However, because they are downward facing speakers, they don't work as well for voice. So when there's voice, it sounds like someone is talking to you, but not looking at you. But otherwise, for gaming purposes, the speakers, they sound good, they sound good. So there's this extruded latch here that you can use to open the laptop. There is RGB lighting on the sides and the front and this side as well. The lighting is customizable with the software provided by ASUS. 
The front and sides are tapered, which allows your fingers to go underneath to pick this up very easily. And this part is thinner compared to the back, so you can really have your fingers go underneath like this to lift the laptop. And when you lift the laptop, the display doesn't wobble at all because the hinge is quite strong. And I like how this part is designed because it leaves the display to a higher position, which is good for ergonomics. On the left side, there are vents for hot air exhaust. This is the barrel port for charging, RJ45 Ethernet up to 2.5G, full-size HDMI version 2.1, two USB Type-C ports. This one is Thunderbolt 4 and can output video. This one is USB 3.2 Gen 2 and can output video and supports 100 watt charging. This Thunderbolt 4 port here does not support charging. And there is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On the right side, there are vents again for hot air exhaust, two USB type A ports with speeds up to USB 3.2 Gen 2. Let me charge this laptop now because the battery is going to run out before I finish recording this review. So when you connect power to charge the laptop, the screen is going to black out and come back again. That's one thing I don't quite like. So this display looks gorgeous. This 18 inch display is an IPS LCD. The resolution is 2560 by 1600. So the aspect ratio is 16 by 10. The visuals look sharp. I don't really see any pixelation when working from one arm's distance away. And the colors look fantastic out of the box. I have already color calibrated this display and I measured color accuracy for 100% as RGB, 89% Adobe RGB and 96% DCI-P3. So this display is reasonably color accurate and definitely good enough for visual content creation. The bezels are quite thin at the sides and on the top and there is a 720p camera there. Gaming experience feels immersive thanks to the thin bezels and the high frame rates and this display has a refresh rate up to 240 hertz and this display is matte textured which I like. The advertised brightness is 500 nits and there is supposed to be Dolby Vision HDR but I only measured 301 nits with my color calibrator. 300 nits brightness is good enough for me because I usually use my displays at 150 nits. There is backlight bleeding at several areas near the edge of the display. And this may be visible when you're watching movies with black bars at the top and bottom. But for normal work, I don't see the backlight glow or bleed. Let's look at the keyboard, which is backlit and the light can shine through the letters. There is light indicator for the caps lock, but not for the number lock, unfortunately. Now this keyboard layout will take some time to get used to. There is no function lock, so the function keys are F1 to F12. If you want to use the shortcuts, you have to press function together with the function keys. There are extra shortcut keys above the function keys, and these are actually customizable. So by default, there are shortcuts to adjust the volume, enable or disable the mic, adjust the fan speed. This is the Armory Crate software. Mute, adjust the backlight for the keyboard. This is the lighting effects. Fan speed again, print screen or window snip key. And brightness control for the display. Projection. Enable or disable the trackpad, sleep mode, airplane mode, and on the right side there is delete, insert, pause, break, print screen, system, RQ, home, and, and the power button. There is no fingerprint sensor. The number pad is squashed slightly and the arrow keys are full size and they extend into the number pad and above to be beside the shift key. So this presents some problems to me. 
0 is usually double width below the 1 and 2 so if I want to type 0 sometimes I will hit the right arrow accidentally and if I want to hit the shift key sometimes I will hit the up arrow by accident and the delete button is above the number lock not above the backspace and there is this extra print screen button here so there are three print screen buttons one here one here and one here but this is actually the windows snip tool and there are duplicated buttons here as well for the fan speed or performance mode so this keyboard layout will take some time to get used to the keys have good travel and feedback so the typing experience is pretty good the touchpad is big and comfortable to use and this has some movement to it there are left and right click areas and this also support finger gestures which work really well let's talk about performance and this laptop has fantastic performance the 13th gen intel processor in this laptop has 24 cores that's 8 performance cores and 16 efficiency cores and this laptop can be used for 4k video editing and the takeaway point is you will be able to export videos in the background and continue with your other work without the system lagging and that is something that many laptops cannot do but this laptop is able to do that you will be able to multitask even with a video exporting in the background the gaming experience on this laptop is very satisfying thanks to the huge display the high resolution the colors and the smooth visuals right now i'm playing red dead redemption 2 and i can get around 70 frames per second at maximum resolution which is 2560 by 1600 and everything looks so good if I drop the resolution down to 1920 by 1200 the frame rate will go up to 85 to 90 frames per second so it's even smoother with last year's models I was only able to get 50 60 FPS with 1080p resolution so this year's model with the new graphics card and uh, processor um, this system is noticeably more powerful than last year's model and I have the power adapter connected because the battery is running down quite quickly it is possible to game with USB-C connected but USB-C will only provide 100 watt charging so if you are playing intensive games the battery life can still drain one big reason why the gaming performance is so good is because the graphics card is allowed to draw up to 175 watts of power and that's the reason why if you use USB-C 100 watt charging the battery life will still drain and if you use USB-C charging and the battery life drains to 10% you will start to see the frame rates drop significantly so if you want to play for extended periods of time with the best gaming performance it's best to use the asus charger with usb-c you can still play for several hours uh, no problem just that if you don't want the battery to drain while you're gaming use the asus charger so right now the fans are spinning at full speed and the fan noise is quite loud but it's not louder compared to other laptops i have tested if you are playing games which are not graphics intensive like dungeon crawlers um, the fans can barely be heard because um, those games don't actually text the graphics card one downside to gaming is there is coil whine so when you start a game you can hear the coil whine but once the fans start to wrap up the coil wine will blend with the fan noise there is no coil wine with normal work so if you are not gaming there is no coil wine let's talk more about visual content creation i want to talk about the screen size and the resolution and how that affects user interface and workflow so the main highlight with this laptop is the 18 inch display with the relatively high resolution 
and this size and resolution combo works great with visual editing apps such as video editing apps photo editing and graphic design apps because you can choose to have more palettes on screen have more controls on the screen so that you don't have to hide and unhide palettes and you can adjust or edit your photos and videos and still get a big visual to work with and this is very satisfying and also very productive with Adobe InDesign so if you are doing page layout or whatever layout you can have two columns of palettes by the side and these two columns can have multiple palettes so this gives me a lot of control so if I need to move things around if I need to align objects I can just choose the alignment here by the side or at the top if there is the contextual menu I don't have to hide and unhide all this and I can still get this huge canvas to work with this size um, is like big how big is it this is a4 size paper and this display is much bigger compared to A4 size. So if you are working with print and you want to see and you're designing something that is smaller than A4 or A4, you can actually see your design at one to one scale at the actual size. So that is very helpful because you can use that to check the legibility of the text like is it too small or is it too big when it's actually printed on paper this is Adobe Illustrator you can have one palette by the side obviously or you can add another column of palettes and still get a good amount of space to work with and this app has this contextual menu now on smaller laptops such as 15 or even 16 inch laptops some of these options may be hidden because the resolution is either not high or there's just not enough space to show all the options or the tools here so with this laptop with this size and resolution you can show all the tools here and they are not hidden so if you want to use or make any adjustments you can just go up here and look for the adjustment you need to make so that saves a lot of time for me even though this display is not 4k resolution from one arm's distance away the visuals still look very sharp to me I don't see noticeable pixelation so this is just a very big and satisfying display to work with all right to conclude the asus rog strix g18 is a laptop that is great for work and play and this can definitely be a desktop replacement the rog strix laptops are available in 16 17 and 18 inches i do not recommend the 17 inch laptop because the display is just 16 by 9 so definitely go with the 16 or the 18 inch laptops with 16 by 10 aspect ratio and the main highlight for this is you can get this with an 18 inch display so if you are looking for 16 inch laptops there are so many options out there but for 18 inch laptops this is a good one to consider as to whether this is worth the money well you can decide based on the findings that I have presented and if you want to purchase this, consider using the affiliate links in the video description below. I am going to miss this when I return it to ASUS Singapore. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye!